What is going on? What is going on? What's going on, y'all? Hey, so we here. <laughs> Stop by to get the car wash real quick. Y'all can see. The car washing right here. My wife's car, not my car. I would never run my car through here. But I do run her car through here because uh you know what I'm saying? I'm just the big SUV man and on top of that. We getting ready to check her car in soon anyway, so it's like, uh, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so, for her car, I don't mind running through the machines and all that, having to vacuum it out, wipe it down and all that good stuff, like I said, because we're gonna trade it in soon anyway, so I don't really care about the paint. My car would never see this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wash it or I go to cheap packs, man, but her car, her car gets so dirty, man, because of, you know what I'm saying? Like, the kids play soccer and all that stuff, man. So they'd be all in her car. There'd be grass everywhere and all of it. It'd just be crazy. So, it's a lot of grass, man. A lot of dirt. A lot of everything in there, man. So I just let them take care of it and call it a day. You know what I'm saying? 20 bucks. Whatever. It is what it is.
here where nobody say, bro. Now, granted, I know this is probably not, you know, the whatever one of the top of the line models, man. But that Ford Bronco is trash, bro. Look at that. That is trash, bro. That thing looked like a damn, oh, like a, a you know, like one of the little crossover SUVs. No justice in the Bronco whatsoever. This is the first time I seen one though. I ain't gonna lie, like out in the wild, like you know, obviously I seen them in pictures and all that. I seen those getting some of the dealerships, yo. But that is straight trash, bro. Oh, that's a Bronco Sport, as a matter of fact. Whatever that means. But that is trash, bro. That looks like it looks like a it looks like, it looks like an escape. It looks like a Ford Escape. They might as well just put the escape escape badge on it for Ford. Come on, man. It's supposed to be big and bulky and beefy. That looks terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Look at that thing, man. I would not. Man, if I ever bought, if I had bought one of those and put my money down one of those, I would be so upset. Horrible. Yo, if it was me, it would be a no go, 100%. Like I said, I would be super upset if I ended up ordering one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, pre, you know, pre order one. And then it comes in and that's what I get. I mean, New granted, text message from sale. I mean, granted, you don't have to, you know, take it or whatever, but, you know, take delivery, but, bro, I would have been super upset. That Bronco looks trash, bro. Horrible. Horrible, horrible. Like I said, it looks like a crossover SUV, man. Not, it's supposed to be big and bulky and tough and, you know. Like, like, I, like, you can't take that. It, it does not look like you could take that thing off road. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it looks like to me. Like, you cannot take that thing off road and, you know what I'm saying? And be like, yo, I'm not gonna get stuck. Like I said, it looks like, it literally looks like a Ford Escape or a Ford Edge. You know what I'm saying? Like something like similar to that size. That's crazy. Which they already have, like, and, and you know they already got vehicles that's that size. It's like what I just mentioned. So why put another vehicle out on the road? With another name that's literally the same exact size of what you already got in your fleet. I don't know, man. That's just weird to me. Yeah, man, I don't know. I'm disappointed in the Bronco seeing it in person. Maybe, you know, once you start seeing them, you know, I guess modified and everything else, and people put lift kits on them, maybe. But even then, I think it's going to look weird because it's a small SUV. It's like a crossover. So to see that thing lifted up with big tires and everything else, I think it's going to look weird, man. But hey, we're going to only wait. And see what happens and see how it looks. You know what I'm saying? I'm only speculating. But obviously, you know, I, I might be wrong. Anyway, other than that, man, I'm getting ready to head over to pick up my son. You know what I'm saying? From school, getting ready to take him home. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So we can get something to eat and all that. And then we start all in and start the nighttime rituals or the evening rituals of taking everybody to practice. And, you know, all that good stuff, man. So, anyway, that's all I got for this video, man. Yo, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, man. Uh, appreciate y'all for rocking with us, rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? When I say us, I mean the Free Smoke channel as well. So for those of y'all that have uh, went over to check out the Free Smoke channel, we greatly appreciate y'all, man. Like I said, we put in a lot of work over there. And um, you know what I'm saying? We're going to continue to grow and expand. You know what I'm saying? So if you haven't already, man, make sure y'all go check out Free Smoke, man. The link is in the description below. You can go check out the video. I mean, go check out the channel, check out the videos. Our live streams right now is what's the, the most lit, you know what I'm saying? Every Sunday, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Um, matter of fact, this Sunday, we have the life of Jimmy Berry, man. So if y'all don't know, man, that is tall guy, core reviews, that is his brother. You know what I'm saying? So we are having him on the show this Sunday, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a dope show, man. Um, like I said, we, we only go for about an hour. Um, you know what I'm saying? And we hang out with you know, and we hang out with the guests or whatever, and just talk about all kind of different things, man. So it's gonna be a dope event. I mean, it's gonna be a dope show that day. Um, I mean, all, all of them are dope, man. You know what I'm saying? But this is the life of Jimmy Barrett. Y'all, as you already know, man, he got an interesting story. And like I said, man, we're just gonna we're gonna sit there and talk to him about it. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, that's all I got. Again, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Once again, thank y'all for rocking with me. Thank y'all for rocking with us. And uh, we're gonna be back on, on with some more, man, with some more heat. Uh, other than that. Make sure y'all stay humble, stay blessed, stay motivated, stay positive. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff, man. And most importantly, stay true to yourself. Because anything else, be on civilized, man. That's all I got, yo. 
once again, thank you very much. As y'all know, I'm your boy Fat Cat. Salute to everybody out there, man. We'll see you guys on the next one.